Hey guys, um, machines that's in the gym for uh, weightlifting, they get a lot of flack. A lot of people, a lot of the so-called experts claim they, they're not good for building muscle. Um, but I, I kind of disagree with that. Uh, for the past week, I've kind of switched to doing nothing but uh, machine exercises in the gym. Here I'm on the shoulder press. And I find that it really hits your shoulders just like any other. As if you're doing it with dumbbells, you know. And here I'm on the... Uh, a seated unilateral uh, inclined bench press machine. Yeah, it's nothing but a seated inclined bench press machine. And I think this really targets your upper pecs. Pecs in general, but it really hits your upper pecs, pecs as well. And uh, after I complete this exercise, we jump on the uh, seated flat bench press. And man, I love this machine. Yeah. I think this machine hits my pecs better than the uh, bench yeah, press. If you squeeze it at the top and hold it for a second, really feel the uh, muscle contract. You're gonna be real sore the next day. Yeah, this chest. yeah this seated flat bench press. I think this is a great machine in the gym to build muscle and size and strength. I really get a hell of a pump doing this seated flat bench press. After you complete that exercise, I then go on over to uh, some tricep extensions. Uh, it's a isolation movement, but uh, whenever you do isolation exercises, you want to do high reps. So this is a workout you can do if you don't have a gym partner. Yeah. You don't need a spot or anything. Yeah, you can just jump on machines. Yeah. Each machine do two to three sets. Um, at the end of your workout, you did four different types of exercises. Um, you complete about 12 to 14 total sets, nothing more than that, or, or else you'd be simply just overtraining. But, you know, two sets per exercise, two to three sets is fine. 